Here's a question from the comments in another video. My husband and I separated in 2016. He bought a business in 2017. We divorced last year, which is 2022. I didn't see the info, I'm guessing, about the business. What happens? Hi, Rafe Palmer, STG Divorce Law, author of the best-selling divorce book, I Just Want This Done, How Smart Successful People Get Divorced Without Losing Their Kids, Money, and Minds, available on Amazon, links in bio, answering your divorce questions. And this one, I answer in the pers from the perspective of an Illinois or Chicago divorce attorney, because that's where I'm from. Get specific legal advice from an attorney in your jurisdiction. This is not a substitute for legal advice, but I want to give it my best shot for you. Try to help you out and point in the right direction. So separation, if you're not talking about legal separation, you just moved apart then and you weren't living together, that's kind of a nothing as far as divorce law is concerned in my state. So there is legal separation that's different from just separating. Legal separation is a court judgment. You actually get a court order saying you're legally separated. And in Illinois, that's significant because it means there's no more accrual of marital property or marital debt. So if you were legally separated, this is really important because if you were legally separated in 2016 and you bought a business in 2017, that's just too bad for you if you get divorced in 2022 because there was no more accrual of marital property. You each were accruing your own property after the legal separation. Let's assume what you mean is that you were just separated, you moved apart and he didn't say anything. That's different and now you've got a different situation. So if you were not legally separated and he acquired the business in 2017, didn't say anything, kept, you know, you guys were separated but just kept on trucking, you get divorced in 2022 and he doesn't disclose the business, well, you can reopen that divorce judgment with what's called a petition, you can bring a petition to vacate that judgment and essentially reopen the divorce judgment to get the evidence of that situation back into the case and either negotiate a deal where you get your value from the business, assuming it has any value, uh, or a court would have to decide at a hearing whether you'd get some portion of that business, again, assuming it has value. Now, there are restrictions on that, like whether you knew or should have known about the evidence of the business at the time and or whether he fraudulently concealed information about the business and there are timing requirements and your state's requirements and law will vary. So as soon as you know about this, as soon as you know about an undisclosed asset and you've already been divorced and you think you've been taken advantage of, it's critical to go to a lawyer right away and talk about that situation and probably file a petition to vacate, assuming you qualify as soon as possible, because time matters. As time goes by, you might get yourself in trouble and waive your right to go back and reopen that judgment. I hope that helps. Thanks for the question.